Hi, and welcome to another video from MathsRevision.net Trigonometry. Trigonometry is the operation we use to find a missing side length or angle measurement within a triangle. An important first step to trigonometry is remembering the names of the sides of the triangle. So, given a right angle triangle like this one, we can begin. The first and easiest to remember is the hypotenuse. This is always the longest side and we'll label that H. Second, we know that the opposite is the side opposite the angle being used, so we label this O. Finally, the side that touches the angle that isn't the hypotenuse is the adjacent, so we'll label that A. Now we've labelled our triangle, we can move on to the next important term we need to remember, sol ka toa. Write this down and put it somewhere you'll remember it in the exact order, maybe as a mobile phone background or on your wall by your bed, as it's important to know this exactly, since you won't be given this in an exam. From that so carter we have now learned, we can make formula triangles. We get three different formula triangles and construct them by writing out each three letter term in a rainbow form. So, S, O, H, C, A, H, and finally T, O, A. Next, we draw a line under the top letter to represent a divide. Then, we add the symbol theta, meaning angle in Greek, to our bottom left letter. And finally, we split the two bottom letters with a multiply symbol. Remember to learn these very well and re-watch this video until that's very clear in your mind, and you can do it without looking. It becomes very easy with practice. So, now we've learned how to label the triangle and draw up formula triangles, we can move on to our first example. In this example, we can see our angle has been labelled for us at 35 degrees. So, we can label our longest side, H, our side touching the angle, A, and finally, the opposite side, O. And from that, we can see that the side with the measurement of 13 centimetres is our opposite, so O and the other side in question, labelled X, is our hypotenuse. So, we know that we are working with the letters O and H. Going back to our so ka toa we can see that the three-letter term involving both the O and the H is so. So we draw out our formula triangle, S, O, H. Adding in our divide below our top letter, adding the theta to our bottom left letter, and splitting the bottom two numbers with the time symbol. The next step is to cover what we're looking for, so the hypotenuse labelled H, leaving us the equation opposite over sine. So our opposite we know is 13, and divided by the angle we have, 35, and sine, depending on your calculator, you may have to tap sine before the angle, so be sure to practice with your calculator before the exam and be sure you know which way around your calculator wants you to enter it. Anyway, we hit equals giving us the result of 22.66. So the length of our hypotenuse is 22.66 centimetres. So if we need to find an angle given two or more side lengths of a triangle, we follow a similar operation. You can see our example here is an isosceles triangle missing a right angle just to make things more confusing. But fear not, all we do here is split the triangle in half from the angle we won't be using. Now we can go about labelling the rest of the triangle. So we start with our longest side, H, then we move on to the side with the angle touching, so A, and finally the side opposite the angle we're working with, O. We can see from this example that because we've split the triangle in half, we've split our adjacent side, the side labelled A. So we take the 20 that was there before and we write 10, leaving us with our A as 10 and our H still as 23. You can see the sides we're now working with are the adjacent, which is now 10, and our hypotenuse, which is still 23. So looking again to our so ka toa, we can see that A and H only appear in ka. Again, drawing out our triangle, we write our letters C, A, H in the rainbow shape. Throw in our divide line between the top letter and the bottom two, our theta on the bottom left, and finally, times to separate the two bottom letters. 
Since we have our a and our h, and it is the c which has the theta, so angle we're looking for, we cover up the angle, so the c, and that leaves us with the equation a over h, which in our terms is 10 for our adjacent, over 23, which is our hypotenuse, which gives us an answer of roughly 0.43. Now, since we know that 0.43 can't really be an angle measurement, in our final step, we need to work out the invert of the cos. Now, again, calculators vary here, so it causes some confusion. Some calculators will have an invert button, which means we hit invert then cos and our number. Others, like the one I'm using, will have a second and cos button combination. Again, learn your calculator before the exam, but for our case here, we hit the second, cos, giving us the answer 64.22. So that means the angle we were looking for was actually 64.22 degrees. If you take a look at the example you were given and what you've worked out, you can roughly guess if you're right or not. If you don't think you're correct, re-watch the video to make sure you followed all the steps correctly. As ever, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more maths videos or go to mathsrevision.net for more materials on problems like these.